You see, men are stuck in relationships nowadays that they don't necessarily like to be in. They realize that it's wasting their time, but they feel like they have to stay for some odd reason. I was that man at one point in time in previous relationships where I felt like I needed to remain in that same relationship because it could get better or things could improve. When in reality, it was so far from the point of, of no return that it, you had to get rid of it. For, for my life to have improved, I needed to end it. And for you watching this video now, for your life to improve, for you to get back to what you needed to do to be able to become the man that you want to be, you need to end the relationship. And you probably don't know how or when to do it. So this video is going to help you. So I'm going to give you a story, right? I had multiple previous relationships. I'm going to just sum it up because it's been common across all of my relationships previous to this one. This one's great. I have no issues with it. It's exactly what I want. It's been what I want for the longest time. But in previous relationships, I've had times where I genuinely did not see a future with the woman. Like everything was smooth sailing for the first three months because there are no trials and tribulations, no arguments, no nothing. Everything was great, everything was perfect. By the way, this is a red flag. If you don't have any issues, if you don't have any arguments, if you don't have any conflict in the relationship, you're never going to know how you and that person are going to do, you and that woman are going to deal with that specific relationship when things get rocky. You have to be able to test the relationship, not even intentionally, but you have to be okay with stepping in to a zone where it, it can be not not peaches and roses, right? You need to have times where you're challenging each other intellectual, intellectually when you're challenging each other from the perspective of life. But when you need, when you need to know when, when you want to end a relationship, the big thing you have to understand is, do you still have the respect of the woman? Do you still have the respect? I'm gonna keep this as short as possible because it's actually very simple. Respect. All men want power and respect and not power to the point where you're commanding someone or you're, you're, you're dictating someone's life. That's wrong. I know a lot of, you know, red pillars and people out there are saying you need to command her and she needs to do everything that you tell her to do to a certain extent if the thing that you're telling her to do also benefits her. But in the case that you find that the woman is disrespecting you, but what does disrespect even look like? If they're, they start to make fun of you. Right? They start to, but, but in a malicious way, right? They start to say things that they know will make you upset. They test you to the point where they've crossed your boundaries. See, most of you have never actually set boundaries in your relationship. So if you're in a relationship where there are no boundaries, you need to set that boundary immediately. Set the boundary immediately. Set the, the, the parameters that you allow for a woman to be able to be in in your in your life the things that you are okay with the things that you're not okay with you need to set that immediately as soon as you get into it but if you haven't do it now and what you're going to find is as soon as you do it you're going to see whether or not that relationship is going to work because the woman will either reject those parameters reject those boundaries that you set also the woman needs to set boundaries as well because you need to know what she will and will not tolerate you as a man you need to also set boundaries of what you will and will not tolerate the minute those boundaries are crossed, the minute that you have disrespect, cheating is disrespect, right? The minute that you cheat, the minute that you, the, the woman goes out and does something else, it's done. It's over. You, you, you cannot get that back. You can never get that back because it's emotional. It's emotional. It's, it's not a game. It's not, it's not just a one-time thing that was emotional because they already checked out. See, women tend to check out of relationships early, earlier than they actually do the act of cheating. So you have to understand that when, when the cheating happens, they were already out. They were already looking before that. They were already looking at other options. They just happen to show you that. You happen to find out. And in the back of their mind, they're hoping that you completely leave because they want to be out of the relationship. Cheating is a sign of wanting to be out of a relationship. And you need to let them go. Let them go do their thing. And be calm about it. Don't be mad. Don't be frustrated. Just calmly say, I'm very disappointed in you and you need to leave. And that's it. Don't give any alter, don't give ulteriors or, or any, any other options of, oh, we can potentially work through it. I've done that before. That doesn't work. All that does is it diminishes the respect that the woman has for you. And she ends up actually continuously doing that same action, maybe in a different way. Maybe she manifests that action in a different way. But when you get to a point where you have your boundaries set 
full and you have the things that, that you're okay with, the things that you're not okay with, that makes it a lot easier for you to know when that relationship needs to end. So you need to be able to set those boundaries early. Once you've set those boundaries, she cannot cross those boundaries. Even if she jokes around about crossing those boundaries, remind her, these are my boundaries. If you cross this boundary, we're done. And you have to be 100% sure. You have to be 100% 10 toes down that you will exit the relationship if that boundary is crossed. Because that's the only way you'll be able to get respect. And a lot of men right now, they're getting their boundaries crossed consistently and they're giving space and they're just losing respect every single time that, that, that the woman crosses that boundary. So the minute that she crosses the boundary, it's over, right? The minute that you see a sign of disrespect, di a sign of disrespect is crossing your boundary. That's all it is. That is what disrespect is. Some people's boundaries are not a woman yelling at them, right? Or a woman saying this, maybe that's not their boundary. Maybe that's a soft boundary, but your hard boundaries, maybe some people, that's their hard boundary. Don't raise your voice at me. The minute you do that, it's over with. It's subjective. Boundaries are subjective. I can't give you a set of boundaries that you need to have because you can dictate what respect is and what disrespect is in your own life based on your own experiences, based on your own perspective. But figure out what those boundaries are. And every time that that boundary is crossed, not even every time, the first time that boundary is crossed, leave. Because the minute that you leave is the minute that the woman will respect you. She may not ever have, she will never have you again, but she respected the fact that you made the decision and left. See, if you consistently stay in a relationship that's constantly hurting you when it comes to you losing respect, you not being respected as a man that is literally just killing you, it's eating you every single time that it happens and you continuously decline to the point where you don't even know yourself anymore. So you have to be able to set those boundaries as clear as humanly possible and you need to enforce those boundaries. You need to enforce the consequences that come with those boundaries and the only consequence is that you leave or she leaves if that's if whatever the situation is i don't know if you live with a woman or if you don't whatever that looks like there has to be a certain there needs to be an outcome a a, a consequence based outcome for actually could just having that disrespect happen so the more that you continuously refine your values, refine what you want, your boundaries, that is when relationships will get a, a very, very easy for you. But the, the basis of this is always maintain respect. Always maintain respect. The minute that you lose it, it's done. You need to just end it kindly. Kind, and, and this is what's going to hurt them the most because you yelling at a woman, that's what they want. They want your emotions. They want you to be emotional especially if you have never been emotional. Women love emotions because that's what gives them life, is going through a pantheon of emotions, being sad, being happy. If you're a stoic guy, which I don't recommend, I'll make another video on why being stoic is not going to help you in life, you're not going to provide the level of excitement, the level of nuance that they want in the relationship. They always want to be on an emotional roller coaster. I know you've seen this from a lot of dating gurus before. Emotional roller coasters are real and you need to be able to provide that by allowing for different emotions to basically engulf you and be expressed outwardly. Not toxic in terms of you throwing stuff or you being aggressive. No, absolutely not. We don't put our hands on women. Absolutely not. I'm against that. But when it comes to you being mad, show that you're mad. When it comes to you being excited, be a little excited, be a little happy. Don't be squirmish, like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Don't do that. <laughs> but you need to be able to show all, when you're sad, you need to show these emotions because that is how the woman is going to enjoy her life. That is how she's going to see that the relationship is lively. If there are no emotions in a relationship, then the relationship is dead to a woman. To a man, it doesn't matter. You can live a, mon a monotonous life and you'll be fine because that's how we were created. But for women, they need to live a lively life. I went on a tangent, but at the end of the day, you need to show your emotions for everything. The minute that those boundaries are crossed, show that you're upset, show, th but then also don't yell, don't raise your voice, don't become too overly emotional. Remain in the same frame that you have and co politely, calmly tell the woman to leave. Say that you were very disappointed in what she's done and that because she's violated your boundaries, because she's violated what you've set foot, what you've put in place, she needs to go. And she will cry. She will do many different things to be able to keep you around because at the end of the day, when they become attached to you, they want to be around you no matter what. Even if they messed up, they will, they will make it seem 
Like they're completely sorry and they'll never do it again. That's false. They will do it again. There's a reason why they did it. Everything's premeditated. Women, everything is premeditated. Nothing's by accident. Her having sex with another guy, that's not by accident. She didn't just slip and fall and have something go inside of her. No. Everything is premeditated. So you need to be able to maintain the respect of your word. Your word is everything. The minute that you break your word, you lose the respect in anything. Or you slightly start to lose respect. I've had many times where that's happened to me where I've just went against my word. I said, oh, I, I, I'm very against this one thing and the person did it and I kept them around. And what happened, it got worse and worse and worse and you start to decline. But that's when you know, when, when you start getting disrespected, that's when you know. When they start talking about other guys to you, when they start talking about this one guy, when they, that's when everything is done. If she's never had male friends, which I, be, I don't believe men and women can be friends. I'm, I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but it's a fact. I'll make a whole nother video around that as well. But if she starts introducing male friends later on in the relationship, it's over with. Because she's looking for another outlet. She's looking for another emotional pull, another emotional source, another energy source, because you are not providing what she needs. And that is when you need to leave. A lot of you have, have women in your life that you're in relationships with and they have like 50 male friends and no female friends. Make it make sense. If, it, if it's not your friend group, if it's not people that you know, then that's a start to a decline. So you need to understand that and you need to internalize it. And when you end the relationship, this is when you go on your self-improvement journey. You should also be on your self-improvement journey. If the woman is not supporting your self-improvement journey, supporting your business pursuits, supporting what you're doing to better yourself and ultimately better the relationship, that is also your sign that you need to go. If she's dictating how you need to be able to to provide how you're actually doing what you're doing. If what you're doing is productive, if she's telling you that you should not do that, you should be lazy, you shouldn't do that, that is your sign to leave because this person is not adding value to your life. All they're doing is they're keeping you from becoming the greatest version of yourself. You need to leave because when you leave, she will start to realize that and you've now helped her realize that a man who is on a self-improvement journey, a man who is constantly striving is the greatest version of himself and that's who they were attracted to in the first place. Because you have to understand women, were, women are attracted to you when you were actually on your purpose, when you were actually doing what you were supposed to do. The minute that you stop doing what you're supposed to do, you lose all respect. I told you, everything goes back to respect. And the minute you lose that, you're, you're never getting that back. The minute you lose the respect of a woman, you will never have it back. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you become Superman. She will always remember the things that led to her being disrespectful to you on a regular basis. So you have to be able to internalize this and understand that once you lose that, leave. And when you leave, start to develop yourself. Build your personal brand. Find a way to make money. I think the best way to make money right now is through your personal brand. So link is in the description if you're interested in building your personal brand and monetizing it on YouTube. I will be able to help you apply. I only want serious people. I do not want anybody who just wants to be an entertainer. I do not want anybody who is not willing to invest in themselves or are not in a position to invest in themselves because you have other issues. You should probably just go get a job, build your reserves, and then reinvest in yourself for greater returns and greater freedom. Now that we have that out the way, take this, internalize it, look at your current situation, look if your boundaries are being crossed, understand whether or not you even set boundaries in the first place. That's your first mistake if you ever, if you didn't make any boundaries at all. And if they're being crossed, end it. End it and don't look back. Every time I've ended a relationship, I've never looked back. And my life has only gotten better. And I've only found better and better women. So you have to understand that. A lot of you are also stuck in a relationship because you have one-itis. You think that this person is the one. There's no such thing as a one. There are many, but there is a best one for you. And you, you are on your process of finding that person. And when you find the person, you'll know. Men know within the first three months, max. They know. Even earlier than that. And you have feelings, you have a certain energy that, that comes up that tells you whether or not this person is right for you or not. And you need to trust your instincts. You need to trust your instincts when you feel something's off. When you feel like she's done something outside of the relationship that she's hiding from. You need to trust those feelings because they're real. Trust your instincts as a man. Develop your instincts. The way you develop your instincts are by listening to them, are by being more perceptive, are by understanding different human psychological cues, social cues, understanding that your intuition will grow. So I wanted to make this as brief as possible. I could dive in and do a whole whiteboard for like an hour around this topic, but I wanted to give you this because this is very important. 
So I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend who's still in a relationship that you believe is not doing him any good, is not a positive relationship for him, is not a relationship where he can thrive. Have him understand this and have him end it immediately because there are so many other people out there that will be better for him if only he, he keeps himself open again. If he doesn't close off and remain with the same person that's holding him back, that's keeping an anchor on him the entire time. Trust me, I've experienced this before. And I've also experienced now where I have someone who's completely different, who genuinely brings a lot of value to my life and I, I, I actually improve. I'm challenged every day, but I also improve. That's the goal, right? You don't want a Barbie doll. Yes, you want the woman to look beautiful, absolutely. But you also don't want a Barbie doll. You want someone who's functional. You want someone who can actually help you improve as well. Who can, who can also motivate you when you don't want to do the things that you don't want to do and you show it. All right? So like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Links are in the description if you want help with YouTube, building your personal brand, everything like that is there. Appreciate you guys and I'm going to catch you on the next video. Conquer yourself, conquer your life. Have a good day.